everybody. As you've just seen, we're about to have a huge transformation in my closet. I have been wanting to do this for so long, ever since we moved in. And today I'm about to get started with an ultimate decluttering of my closet. But also, it's pretty pared down already, but I wanna go even further and try to do a capsule wardrobe. I don't know if any of you have ever tried that. I'm sure you've heard the term. If you haven't, it's just basically having a very limited amount of pieces that all kind of work together and kind of have the same color scheme. The idea is that you love everything in your closet and everything goes together and it helps with decision fatigue because you kind of already know what you're gonna wear. I have been trying this now for the past two, three weeks and I've been really loving it. As a mom, there's so many other things to worry about that are more important. Now, I still love clothes. I still love to dress cute and stuff. But when I started to wear just kind of the same mom uniform a lot, just with different colors, different pieces, it was so fun. I always felt like no matter where I was, whether I was just grocery shopping or running errands, I still looked put together and like I wanted to look. So I really, really liked what I've experienced just by dipping my toe into it. So I decided I'm gonna go a little more hardcore here, declutter my closet. I'm not gonna get rid of everything except the capsule wardrobe. Like I'm gonna keep those dresses and stuff that don't maybe go with the color scheme and stuff because I don't wanna make any stupid, crazy, rash decisions. Um, I'm gonna keep them for a little while and see what I think. And then maybe when I get back from my Florida trip, I may possibly list a whole bunch more things on Poshmark. We will see. I choose to wear dresses and skirts all the time. And um, that's just because I like to dress modestly and that's one way to do it. So before we dive right into the capsule wardrobe, I do wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Guys, I'm so excited. I am going to be an ambassador for Skillshare for the next couple months. I will be working with them as long as they have me because I love to learn and Skillshare helps so much with that. It's an online learning platform where you can join different programs and just learn all kinds of skills. I recently took a class on how to think like a chef and boy, it's got me I'm brain rolling about what I can do in the kitchen. I also joined a class that was talking about sustainability because I'd gotten an email a little while ago um, from somebody from the New York Times wanting to interview me because she said sustainability is this huge thing right now and she feels like the Mennonites intuitively embody that and <laughs> I got to thinking and I'm like, no, I am not very sustainable at all. I am a pretty bad example of that. So the class that I took really helped me just to see little ways that maybe I can try to be a little more sustainable. Little things as simple as just not washing your clothing as often. Anyway, if Skillshare sounds like something that could add to your life and benefit you, I encourage you to click on the link down below. And the first 500 people will be able to have Skillshare premium for free for two months. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe, but I think you're gonna love it, guys. I really do. So I think I'll cover the rest of this video in a voiceover, and then I'll talk to you at the end and show you all the pieces that I decided to keep in my capsule wardrobe. So here is my absolutely unfiltered wardrobe tour. It's a huge closet, way too big for what I really need. I do share it with my husband. His clothing is in the back here. And then we have some bags of clothing up here that need, it's like hunting clothing, stuff like that. These scarves are deplorable, just falling down. I have a bag that I do use quite often, but it doesn't look very nice there at all. I have a bunch of watches. I used to really be into watches until I got my Fitbit. And so I really probably should donate them. And then this is an awesome handy shelf for shoes, but guys, it's so embarrassing. Look at this. This is summer shoes, winter shoes, shoes I don't wear anymore, shoes that, wow, look at that, boots. It's it's embarrassing, guys. And then over here is my husband's stuff, and he's just tidier just because he doesn't have as much. And then over here on this side, I have my skirts and then my tops, and I like how I did keep them in color order, and that's been working for me. I have black, white, tans, creams, reds, and blues. You can see I don't wear a ton of different colors, like you don't see any yellow in there or green. I pretty much stick to like those colors that you see right there and I have been putting my clothes back in color order for the last year and a half and I really really like it. It's helped me a lot so I'm definitely going to keep it that way and I do like sectioning them off by tops, skirts, and dresses. Okay, the first thing I am doing here, you can see, is just taking everything out of the closet. I wanted to see everything with fresh eyes and to just be able to make decisions without being influenced by where things already were at. I wanted to know where I was at with what I had and what I wanted to get out of the closet permanently because I didn't want just a closet that was organized, but also a closet that looked nice as well, which is kind of the same thing if you think about it. So I was just taking everything out and taking stock of what I had in there. And keep in mind, we just moved about six months ago. So moving day was not a day to organize my closet. It was just a day to put everything back in. And I kind of lived with it for the past six months, just seeing what I liked and didn't like, and I tweaked things here and there. And so now I kind of have a little bit of a vision in the back of my mind. And that is just kind of something I would encourage you, if you moved as well, or if you're planning to move, 
don't give yourself so much work that you think you have to get it all done right then and there. Just kind of embrace your new surroundings and see how you feel. And then once you have a game plan, go for it and make the most of your time. So here is my bare, bare closet. There's hooks here that I didn't even know existed. So I'm just gonna clean everything quickly and vacuum the floors and then comes to deciding what's gonna go back in. I did wanna say here that decluttering, while it's super fun and rewarding and stuff, I know that it's a problem. Like, I shouldn't have to come to this point very often. I know I need to be mindful of what I bring into my home, and at the end of the day, decluttering is not the solution to the problem. But I feel like I still have a remnant of clothing from when I was a teenager, and I had no idea what I really wanted or liked and I just bought everything that was cheap and pretty and glittered. <laughs> anyway, so I know this problem is not gonna be fixed just by decluttering, but by a mindset shift, and I feel like that just came with age a little bit, being in my 20s, and yeah, just a little more wisdom in knowing what you like and knowing what works, and I know this whole video is subjective. Some of you are watching this thinking I have way too much clothing, even at the end here, and some of you are watching this and thinking, oh my goodness, she doesn't have that much at all. Um, I know it's completely subjective to where you are at in your life, and I do wanna be sensitive with that, but I think you get the idea that I just want to have a wardrobe of clothing that works for the stage of life I'm in and that I also like wearing at the same time. Then I started with my shoes and I just looked at each pair and decided if I wore them or if I didn't or if I had any intention of wearing them. A lot of these shoes were just really tired and it was time to move them along. I was pretty ruthless but I still had tons of shoes on the shelf as you can see here. But I decided for the purpose of this experiment I was going to keep all the shoes that I had there on the shelf but I was going to make my own capsule collection for spring because I wouldn't need any sandals and I wouldn't need any winter boots for springtime and I was gonna make one shelf be my shoes for my capsule wardrobe. Okay, I could not just whittle it down to one shelf of shoes, but I did do, I just decided to do these two. So down here you can see a lot of sandals and things I wear rarely, and then here we go with this shelf right here. These are from Walmart, I wear them all the time. They're nice slip-ons, and they're really comfortable. They have memory foam in them. These are just some taupe flats that I love to throw over church. They're starting to show some wear, but I'll just keep that in mind, and if I ever find more like them, maybe I can replace them, but I really do get a lot of wear out of these shoes, especially in that color. Then I have boots, and I've had these for many, many years. They're still holding up pretty well. They're from Kohl's. I can't say I'm in love with them anymore, but they're very serviceable, and they go with so many things. And then on the top shelf, these are some new shoes that I got. I wanted some closed toe shoes for church, but more springy ones, and I thought these could read black or gray, kind of. I feel like they could go with a lot of stuff. And I got them for like $3 because the Kmart in our area is going out of business. Then over here I have my black pair of boots. It looks like these need a little brushing on them. But black, I just wear these all the time with so many things. And I do wear them in the spring, just not when it gets really warm. Then I'll switch to sandals. Also, these are my sneakers. They're Brooks sneakers. They're super expensive. I actually got them on Black Friday for I think $85. But they're what I need to wear because of my foot issue. And yeah, these sneakers are very, very comfortable. I know why, I now I know what the hype is all about. I just wish they had cuter options. So the rest of these shoes down here are still organized, but they're more a uh, springtime shoe. And I'm not hiding them away because we are leaving for Florida soon. And I know I'm gonna wanna pack some of these for the warm weather. The next thing I did was pull each category back in and just put them back in the closet on this side. And then if there was something that I thought I wanted to put in my capsule wardrobe, I moved it back across to the other side. I didn't want to get rid of everything yet because this seems like a super drastic lifestyle change for me and I wanted to see how it was going so let's be honest guys I was a little scared but anyway you'll see how it looks here at the end. I just started with my dresses and then I did my skirts and my tops all in this way. And I'm just having so much fun here sorting through everything and really thinking about what I actually wear. I will link all my organization things that I can find from Amazon down below in the description box. That way you could find them really easily too because I think you're going to want to try this project, guys. It was so much fun. The t-shirts I was kind of in limbo with, I put over in my chest of drawers. I will declutter that later if I feel the need to. I find it's always nice to have a bunch of t-shirts so you don't care what happens to them for random things like camping or painting, things like that. 
And these shirts here, I really like them, but I think they scream fall more so, so I'm gonna put them away too and see if I miss them at all and maybe pull them out again in the fall if I'm excited about them. And if I'm not, I'll pass them on. And I don't think I'm gonna count thermals as pieces because they're really just like long underwear kind of, <laughs> like long sleeve shirts. So I am going to keep these over with my underwear and socks and my PJs. That way they aren't visually cluttering up my closet when I'm trying to figure out what to wear each morning, which should hopefully take only a tiny bit of time. Also, I was an art teacher for several years and I know about color theory. I know some people find it harder to figure that out, but I highly recommend doing some research at the end of the day, I feel like you can wear whatever you want to wear. Don't feel the need to wear something just because a piece of paper tells you that it's going to look good with your skin. Um, I am a warm summer, so that's the colors that I look best in. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, there's four different seasons, and you can really look into it in depth if you want. Also, I am not going to include gym wear as part of my capsule wardrobe. I'm going to put this over in my bureau, but I am going to declutter this a little bit because there's a few pieces that I feel like are really just worn out. And I'm wearing an athletic skirt now, and I do have three. I'm not planning on getting rid of any of them. I picked these up at a couple different places, and I will link down below where you can find them. They're essentially just shorts with like a skirt on top of them, so you can really move in them. And I know some people really like them for even swimming. I just use them to go running or just like any work really around the house is really nice to have. And when they get really ugly, then I just wear them when I'm painting and things like that because, wow, they're so versatile, I'll tell you that. Okay, here's everything I have so far. I have 28 pieces hanging right here, and then I have some shirts up here as well. I'm going to go ahead and declutter even further, try to think of outfit ideas. I've been doing this already as I got dressed these past couple weeks just to be kind of conscious and take inventory of what I naturally gravitate towards. And so I kind of have an idea of what I like. I really only wear what I like because that's all I feel good in so that everything else can go. So I have a couple of tough decisions to make now because I know this is still too many options. It's still gonna be like kind of hard to figure out what I wanna wear in the mornings when I have all these things going yet. But I have 34 pieces I have to go through yet and then I will show you the final result. And I did make these printables myself on Canva, but my printer for some reason is printing very purpley. I don't know why, but I just these are just some quotes I like that I thought would go good in my closet to see every day. She is clothed in strength and dignity. That's from Psalm 31, I believe. And then God is with her, she will not fall. Psalm 46.5. And then I just like the quote, happy is beautiful. And I hung my sun hat up there. Okay guys, here it is. I whittled it down. I have skirts here, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six skirts. And then I have my sweaters, both pullover and cardigan, and I have 15 of them. Yes, 15. And then I have my dresses. And for somebody who loves, loves dresses, I really don't have very many. I literally have nine dresses here. Well, kind of like eight and a half because I have not sewn this one yet, but I will very soon. And then I have my t-shirts and it doesn't even fill up the whole thing here. I have two, four, six, eight. And then I have five scarves. So let me talk a little bit about what I decided to keep. If you look here, you can see that everything is very similar colors. In fact, everything pretty much is like a dusky pink slash salmon color. I have a little bit of like an orangey undertone to this one here or burgundy or just like a lot of creams and blacks. And then I have a lot of powder blue and a little bit of navy. I thought about taking the navy out completely, but I just can't. I wear this dress so much and I don't need a lot of different pieces to go with it because I just love wearing it plain. And I can still wear it with cream and black as well. And even light blue. I sometimes pair that together with this thrifted cardigan and I think it makes a great outfit. So I'm still gonna have a lot of decisions to make when I get up in the morning. I mean, I don't have just enough stuff to wash day. I clearly have some wiggle room, but I did wanna have a little bit of choice because I'm a little bit of a moody person when it comes to clothing. Some days I really wanna look cute. Some days I wanna dress up. Some days I just wanna be really comfortable. Some days I know I'm gonna be really active and I wanna wear sneakers, so then I know only certain outfits look good with sneakers. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I do have a few, I'll talk you just through a few decisions here. I do have two of the exact same color dress 
This one here is a lot more casual and cozy and comfy, but I decided I did need one special occasion dress. Um, tomorrow night we're going to a banquet and I thought this dress would be a great option to wear. And this dress is like such a statement, I rarely wear it with anything else anyway. I just like to wear it simple and plain the way it is without styling it with a lot of other layers. Another dress I kept was this one. It's blush and cream and it looks great with my cream cardigans. And for my cream cardigans I kept this long one that you guys love so much. And yeah, I'll probably never get rid of this one. It's just really flattering. And I like to wear fitted clothing and then wear this baggy cardigan over top. And it gives you just, you have shape but without showing too much. This dress I got from Amazon. I can link it below for you. It's really cute. It ties in the forest green color and then like the peachy pink color too. So I just love black floral, especially in the springtime. It still feels a little wintry, like, but it's still springish. I just decided I'm going to move my dresses over here so that my tops are all together, including the t-shirts. And then I have my skirts here on the end. Down here, let me move you down and show you my skirts really quickly, what I decided to keep. I did keep two black skirts. I just wear so much black. I love it. It's so nice for being a mom. Um, when I was a teenager, I would have like five white dresses at a time, but now I switched to black. I still love white, um, and I still wear white, but black is just so versatile. And I don't know, it's just really flattering. So I kept, this one, which is more like everyday kick around, I can wear it wherever, but it still looks dressy if I need to. And then this is that one I showed you in my thrifting video. I just wear it all the time. I have a long gray skirt. This is my only long skirt. I do have some holes in my capsule wardrobe. I would like to get a camel colored long cardigan, also a black cardigan. I don't have one and I really need one, but I know I would wear it a lot, but I'm not going to just go out and buy one right away. I'm just going to have it on my list, and I'm going to keep my eyes open for it. And if it's really, really, really bugging me and I really can't find one, then maybe I'll start looking around. I also think I'm going to make an order with Inherit Company coming up here. Inherit Clothing Company has so much stuff. This skirt I got from them, and this is the only denim skirt I decided to keep. It is like a medium to dark wash, and it looks good with a lot of stuff. And it fits me really well. This skirt I sewed. Here, let me show it to you real quick. I'm sure you've seen this in many videos. It has buttons down the front and it's just like a soft corduroy. I love it because it's so cozy and it can be really, I wear it to clean the house and stuff, but then I also can go away and look really dressy wearing it too. Here's my scarves and I like to wear this scarf with that skirt because it has like all the different pink colors in and yeah, I just love this scarf. This is probably my favorite spring scarf. I also kept this one here because it's a really flattering color on me. I do have kind of this I don't know what you call it, a smoky brown colored sweater, but I would really like to get a camel colored one. I have a camel colored dress here that is just not very flattering on me. It's cute, but I need to do something down here at the waist because it makes me look pregnant when I wear it. Now, what I did not show you is behind me is all the things that I rarely wear or just don't think they fit with a capsule wardrobe. The colors don't go together very well, but I'm not gonna get rid of them yet because I know, like this dress here, I'm gonna want this at Easter time. Um, this shirt here will be great for summertime. It's just not going to fit in with my spring capsule wardrobe, um, or at least for next February and March because, yeah, it's just going to be too cold. So this stuff is going to be here for now, but I'm just going to walk into my closet every day. And these two shelves and this right here is what I'll be making my decisions based off of. So I hope this video inspired you to maybe take a look at your closet in a different light and yeah, see what you can pare down to make your life a little bit easier. I don't know if this is gonna be a permanent lifestyle decision or not, but I did want to experiment and I love the idea of just having a minimal closet where I love everything that I have and everything works well together. So if you have not subscribed yet, the button's right down below. Fulfill its purpose, do what you're supposed to do with that. This is not a style video, this is a lifestyle video and it's just showing you what you could do if you wanted to, to simplify your wardrobe, have only things that you love. When I look at this side of my closet, like I can get excited. This is my style. Um, whatever your style is, that's your thing and I'm sure your capsule wardrobe will look completely different than mine. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring it. Click on the link down below and the first 500 people will be able to have Skillshare premium for free for two months. And make sure you watch my Instagram because I'll probably be wearing these outfits in some of my posts.